Hi, my name is Jovi, and welcome back to Kids Corner. Today we'll be talking about why did Jesus have to die? So first let's read our scripture, Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, and Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Now today's thing we gotta do. So first let's explain our keys. So you know everyone has keys. They have car keys, toy box keys, anything like that. So I also have some a, a bunch of these keys. So right here is my car key. And right here is my toy box key. Right here is my house key. And um, right, and right, right here is my um, gate to my house. But there is one special key that we have to talk about. It is called the house key. And the house key is very important because it's for your house and you can lock the doors and unlock the doors. But wonder if you didn't lock the door. It would be bad because you would not you would forget you you would after you forgot someone would break in. But if you're going to somewhere for a week, like I'm going to Georgia and what if I didn't lock the door? Someone would go in, they would have everything of our of ours. And we, we would just be so scared but but these house keys protect you from that but whenever someone said but there's no key we ever talk about no key we ever ever talk about and it is the key to heaven and the key to heaven is jesus so jesus had to die but no 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 <laughs> Someday God wants us to live with him. So Jesus had to die on the cross so our sins could be forgiven. That way we can go into heaven and live with God forever. Now, what would it be like to us and you? Well, maybe you think something different, but what would it be to me? Wait, let's go see. Whenever, oh, there's a note right here. Let me just read this real quick. Oh, it says, um, welcome to heaven. So people who have died would have said, this must be heaven. So whenever Jesus unlocks the door, which is him, we, we all see that. Jovi, I'm going to give you the camera now, and you can take him on the tour of what you think heaven looks like. Okay. okay. So turn so, the camera around. There you go. Here's this. And we have a bunch of angels, as you can see. We have some gold streets, because people say that there's some gold streets. We have a globe right here. Let's shake the globe. And it has this little like thing. Turn that upside down and then whenever we do that, it turns into this. So this this is just really cool. There's some ornaments. There's that. There is some some stars and there's another star right here. There's an angel that goes like, oh, Bing. There's that. And there's ornaments. Some star ornaments up there. Right there. So, yes, just 
Heaven is very cool because here, let me give her the bow. Here you go. All right. So, Joby, yes? this is what heaven looks like in your mind, yes. right? Yes. Okay, and heaven might look differently to people in their minds. So, Joby, why don't you lead everyone in prayer? Go stand next to maybe one of the angels. Yep, so they can pray with us. And maybe, right. And maybe give an extra thank you to Jesus for being the key to heaven. Yes. Okay. okay. I go hold this with hand. Okay. Dear God, thank you for all of this nice stuff. Even though we have home keys, there's stuff even, there's the most important key. It's the heaven key. And the key to heaven is Jesus. So thank you for being the key, Jesus, to unlock the door to let us into heaven when we die. Amen. Amen. Tell our friends goodbye. Goodbye. I like the way your heaven looks. Yeah. Bye. And there's those stars. Bye. Bye. Bye.